Hey, welcome, Nate here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you where to download the IC Realtime Smart um, uh, NVR software and how to configure it to communicate with your NVR. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to icrealtime.com, click support, and then software downloads, and as you can see right here on this first line, you have a Windows download and you have an Apple download. So obviously, depending on what your computer is that you're downloading on, you'll want to select one or the other um, and give it some time to download. And then once it's done downloading, you'll want to click on it so you can install it using the setup wizard. Um, I've already got it installed, so we'll just get going here. So I'm gonna launch it, and as you can see right there, there was a quick uh, username and password. Once it's installed and you launch it for the first time, it's gonna prompt you to put in a password, and you can also just check the box that says, like, automatically log me in when launched or something to that regard. Uh, definitely click that, and maybe just keep note of that password. Um, it's not crucial. And I don't really even know why it's there, maybe just for security purposes, but uh, I personally don't have a need for it. Um, so depending on your situation, maybe you would want to enter a passcode each and every time you launch this software, or maybe not, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is configure. So we have an NVR here, it's pretty much configured. Now we wanna connect to it so we can uh, you know, do playback, live viewing, and all that sort of thing. So you want to come over here to devices. As you can see, I already have some here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another one. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to input the IP address of the NVR. And if you don't have this information, you'll definitely want to talk with your system administrator and get that. Now, if the NVR is on the local network, and it is in this situation right now. Um, I'm gonna put in the local IP address of the NVR. Now, if I'm at a remote location and the NVR is at the office and I need to connect to it, then this IP address would be the public IP address of the network, uh, the internet address of the network that uh, the NVR is on. Um, so it wouldn't look like this. It wouldn't be like a 192 or a 10 dot whatever. It'd probably be like a 24. It could be anything, to be honest. It depends on the ISP. Um, next thing I'm going to want to do is enter the port number. And what we have is ours is on port 32789, default group, um, the username of the NVR, and the passcode of the NVR. And then once you have all this information inputted, hit save and continue. And as you can see, I am online and connected to it, which is good. So um, for the simple fact that we see this green online means that everything I've entered is correct. And so therefore, I'll be able to do remote viewing um, or live viewing, playback, and do uh, all other sorts of things. So we'll leave this video as it is right now. Again, that's how you set up and configure for this program to talk to the NVR. Thanks.